My name is Mary Bennett and I have a special needs child who comes here to the Ark of Washington County. This is Jason. Mm -hmm. Jason was born three months premature and he weighed two pounds, two ounces at birth. He got down to a pound and a half and his mm -hmm. tiny little torso mm -hmm. fit in the palm of my hand. He was at the neonatal intensive care unit in an incubator for over 90 days and during that time he received oxygen for 48 of those 90 days and that is significant because after 40 days of receiving oxygen blindness occurs. Jason has suffered brain damage, he has hydrocephalus which is water on the brain, he is totally nonverbal, he is he has epilepsy, he is very limited in his vision. He's actually considered legally blind. And all of this is a result of his premature birth. But I feel very fortunate and I do count my blessings every day. I am fortunate because first of all Jason survived and 34 years ago premature babies rarely survived. I am fortunate that when Jason was 18 months old, the Ark of Washington County came into our lives and started working with Jason on an early childhood development program and we have been receiving services from them for over 30 years. Whether it was the after school program, the adult learning program, or the community activities program. And not to mention because of the Ark, I can work and provide for my family. The Ark has helped us Jason and our family so very much. Because of the ARC, Jason has a social experience outside of his family. Jason has friends. Because of the ARC, Jason has daily stimulation and interaction. Because of the ARC, Jason's world is bigger than it would have been without the ARC. But I am only one story out of hundreds of who come here to the ARC. So as parents, we ask you to help the ARC continue to do what it is they do best and what they've been doing for over 50 years, and that is to serve the ARC participants with such a profound love and respect and dignity. And for that, we thank them, and I thank you for listening to Jason's story. Okay, Jason, do you like coming to the ARC? Yes. My name is Melissa Van Every, and my brother is Kevin Dennis, and he was born in 1963 with Down syndrome, and at that time the doctor said that he would only live until he was around 12, 12 years old, and he just, this last June, celebrated his 47th birthday. Yay, Kevin! <laughs> He's got six other siblings. Um, I'm the baby of the family. He was a joy to grow up with. Um, we also had we had to keep a close eye on him because he didn't understand the difference between hot and cold. Uh, he could burn himself easily. He loved to go ride bikes. There was a few times we had to go and, and rescue him because he would ride through baseball games and <laughs> cause delays. Um, he loves music. He used to sit outside our house on the trash can and play his guitar. He's a country bumpkin, at least that's what I call him. He's 100% cowboy. He wears the cowboy hat, cowboy boots, belt buckle, and bolo tie. He's a, a wonderful person. He, uh, our mother passed away about 10 years ago, and I told my mother not to worry that I would take care of him, and Kevin has lived with me ever since. And we have a sister in Florida who helps out quite often. Um, he loves to go travel. He loves to fly by plane by himself. Um, the Ark has really made a difference in our lives. He was home for a while by himself after work, and he would uh, get into lots of mischief, and I would come home and, of course, get after him and tell him the things he could and could not do, which made him unhappy and made me unhappy. So we looked into the Ark, and this is where he's been coming ever since, and I love to see him laugh. and the everything that he does here. He loves the people. He loves to come here. 
the creativity that they've taught him is wonderful and he's happy when he comes home and that's all I want is for him to be happy and the ARC has truly, truly stood up for their mission in taking care of him and us. Will you please make a difference? Any contribution this evening would help and it will change lives. Thank you very much. When Ian was first born, he was pretty much a, a normal child. There was nothing um, obvious about an obvious disability about him. He was he was happy. He hit all his milestones just like any other kid. Um, it was about when he was about two and a half years old. Uh, we noticed that he was not developing like other kids. He wouldn't respond to his name, and he um, didn't want to play with other kids. And that's when we went through a series of tests and found out that he had autism. It's been kind of a rocky road since that time, up and down. Um, he can't quite stay focused like normal kids. He runs around constantly. He's constantly in motion 24-7. Um, when we, the way we came to the ARC was because we were pretty much as parents kind of desperate for um, childcare. We both work full time and we needed summer care for him. I remember one time that second year coming in, it was a sweltering hot day. It was about 105 degrees. Everybody was inside in the air conditioning, but true to form, Ian wanted to be outside playing, just like he always wants to be outside playing. And um, I went out to get him from the outside, from the backyard, and it was just Ian and Kathy. Uh, Kathy sitting on the swing, I'm sure she was just dying in the heat. Um, but Ian was playing with a garden hose, just a plain old variety garden hose, and he'd been out there for hours just squirting it up in the air, and uh, Kathy was just happily sitting there watching him uh, shoot the, the hose in the air. So um, that's a true testament to, to the care and love that they show at the Ark. Um, and even this year, he's expanded, he's much more calm, and um, we've moved into a new form of communication for him. He's using an iPad and augmentative software to, um, to talk and to do educational things, and um, Kathy and the rest of the staff at the ARC have been really great in working with him to utilize the machine. Um, so the ARC, um, they've been a tremendous supporter of us and of all the other participants. My name is Ian. I am eight years old. Please make a difference. Give generously tonight. Thank you.